We have learned to input text and numbers. How about replacing the names of the months with dates? But before that, let us zoom in to have a better view. Assuming that these tests were conducted on a particular date, let us type 05 01 2021 to overwrite January. We can also type in formula bar instead of the cell. Type 05-02-2021 replacing February in the formula bar. Now selecting the first two cells, let us drag the node on the bottom right up to row A13. Excel does the rest for us. Excel lets us input text, numbers, dates and formula. Let us type in a formula now. To do so, let us insert a column between date and mark. Remember, formula always begins with an equal to sign. Assuming that the maximum marks in each of these subjects were 50, let us type is equal to 50 plus 50 plus 50 in the formula bar while keeping cell B2 active and then press the tick button. The result of the formula and not the formula is shown in the cell. Unfortunately, taking Q from the column to the left, Excel assumed it to be a date. However, we can convert the format to numbers easily. Let us also remove the decimal point. Now, instead of dragging the node, simply double click it. The same formula is entered up to the last row containing data. Let us also add a column for serial numbers. Type 1, press enter and then type 2. Now select both the cells A2 and A3. Get hold of the bottom right node of cell A3 and double click. Number 3 to 12 are auto filled. Yes, you have guessed it right. This wonderful node is in fact the autofill handle and serves as a magical tool. Type in serial number, date and total marks as headers. Don't forget to save the document before you exit.